Hey everyone, it's really a crappy day outside. So what better day than to bake something? And I have got a package here that I'm going to try, caramel latte bread. And I'm going to put it in this brownie pan with the square shapes. And I'm going to use the boat press to smush in a square, like a little hollowed out area in here with this. After they're baked, this is what you do. And then I'm going to show you how to use the new whipped cream maker to fill the little hole with whipped cream. These are my new scissors and I just love them. So instead of tearing across, I'm just going to use the scissors. They're sharp as all get out. And the recipe calls for preheating the oven to 350. And then you dump the bread mix in, you add two eggs, you add half a cup of water and half a cup of vegetable oil. So here we go. Whoops. <laughs> All right, let's find my measuring cups. It's go time. I've got my eggs ready. Let's crack them in here. There's no separating needed. And next I'm going to use the large scoop just to transfer the mix from the bowl into this and hopefully this will help me not make such a mess and also not overfill the cups. and scraper I think and it's going to help me just get the last little bits out of this bowl and into the little cups just to even things out a little bit more at the end here. I pulled them out of the oven after 30 minutes because I remembered that in a smaller divided pan it will take less time for them to bake. So I have already tested them with the cake tester, this gadget here, you just stick it in and if it comes out clean then it's done. So this is how you release things. You just sort of slide it around in here. So what I'm waiting for now is for them to just cool slightly but I think that it's already time to use the boat press. So let's get the boat press. Here it is another gadget. So it comes in a set with all the different shapes that match these trays and this happens to be the square one there's a round one there's a rectangular one as well there we go and once again oh this is fun yeah and then you can fill it with whatever you like in my case today i am going to fill these with whipped cream i think that will make a delightful treat how does that look? I'm excited. Now I'm going to let them cool down and then I will make the whipped cream and then I will fill them. Okay, I'm back and while I look at the flooding out in my backyard, I am just calmly going to try and make whipped cream. I've got whipping cream here and I've got powdered sugar or icing sugar and you fill the container up to the fill line. It's a very faint little line. I don't know if you can see it there. Yeah, there. That's the best view. And uh, let's just get that started. Let's see. I've had this in the fridge for a few days, but it's still got a long best before date on it. So one tablespoon of icing sugar goes in. Just drop that in there. Then you put this in and screw the lid on. All right, and then you start pumping. It's designed to do this easily and so far it's not too difficult. Okay, let's have a look. Oh yeah. Ooh, baby. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so I think I need to seal the bottom now. 
and switch this plate out for the icing tip if I want a fancy icing look to the whole thing. Let's see if I'm doing it the right way. I think so. Didn't they turn out beautifully? I wonder how they taste. It's pretty good. Mm. Thanks for watching.